without you, Jesus. I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you. Where it's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I've made it. When it's all about you, when it's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I've made it. When it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord. For the things I made it. When it's all about you. When it's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I made. When it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I've made it. When it's all about you, when it's all about you, Jesus. When it's all about you, when it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. Yes, God, it's all about you. Father, when I step at the foot of the cross, when I take a step at this altar, when I take a step out these doors, wherever my feet lead me, God. It's always going to be about you, Jesus. Help me to see that. Help me to realize that and become more aware of it, Jesus. To recognize that only you, only you would take my place. Father, I don't deserve it. I'm hopeless. I'm lost without you. Would you cry out this morning, church? I can't take my next breath or my next step without you, Jesus. That I can't do a single thing. I can't make any decision or have a conversation or go out and meet people without you, Jesus. Lord, I need you. I desperately need you. And this need has brought us at the center of the cross. This need has brought us to understand that only you could do something that you did. So Father, I ask you to center our lives, to help us center our lives. We may need to physically move some things. Emotionally, physically, spiritually, we might need to move some things around so that we could see Jesus right in the center. That it doesn't take much to look at him because it's so clear that he is moving. Amen. It's so clear that he's moving. It's so clear that he lives in you. Not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Amen, church. Would you give God the glory that he lives in us this morning? He lives in you this evening. He lives in you the rest of the week, the rest of the month, the rest of eternity. As long as you say, truly, you are the son of God. And Father, I'm here. I want to hold your hand the rest of my days. I want to hold your hand the rest of my days. Father God, we thank you, God, that you started a work in us, God, that you started a work in this place, God, 
It's not about us. It's all about you, Jesus, that you are working. You're moving when we don't see it, when we don't feel it. Lord, I ask that you help us to pursue you and not our feelings, God. I ask that you help us to become more, more in awe and wonder of the cross, that you constantly and consistently allow us to be convicted, God. For ourselves to be allowed to be convicted. So, Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for the lives that came forward and said, truly, you are the Son of God. Every prayer request, every yearning, every desire that was prayed over, even if you didn't come to the front, church, I'm telling you, God is, it's just like I said in the, in the beginning of my message, he hears, he listens, he's watching. It's not just this altar call. It's the altar call you make at home. It's the altar you make in your cars, in your workplaces. It doesn't take walking into this building. He's where you need him to be. You will find yourself in the right situation where you see God move. So, Father, we thank you for what you did, what you're going to do. We thank you for the love that was given to that thief on the cross and to that Roman centurion. We thank you for your mercy being new every morning so that tomorrow morning we can wake up and experience it and say, God, it's your mercy that we get to experience. Lord, we thank you for the worship. We thank you for the word. We thank you for your voice that is everlasting. God, I ask that you lead our feet onto firm soil, to firm foundation, that we will never, ever fall away from that. And we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name, we said, amen. Amen. Would you just give a shout of praise to our Father? Would you give a shout of praise to our Father? If he's a good God, would you give him a shout of praise? Amen. Amen. Amen.